top of the morning you guys it is 5 ooh, 27 on Saturday I mean Sunday September the 5th oh my god I was saying I was taking today off from working out and look at me being up I think my body is not gonna let me rest so might as well do what I gotta do girl I don't know what to do am I dreaming what am I seeing I can't believe it it's just too good to be true ooh na na ooh mama ooh na na ooh mama Pants are already starting to fall down, so that's cool. You know what I mean? What is that? Oh my god, I'm tired of these bugs. I feel like the jack of all trades. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> like you're not a million percent perfect at anything, but you dabble in like everything, and I like that. I like to dibble and dabble in uh, in shit, you know. So. Uh, and find my niche you know I definitely like this you know you couldn't pay me to talk to people before and this became actually dope to me I love it here I love it here but anyways let me go y'all uh, my watch is probably saying she ain't moving she ain't breathing so let me go like y'all uh, little pastel colors looking Easter vibes again little Easter bunny this is actually a really good book y'all and it teaches you about balance through the elements and you know how all of our zodiac signs are earth water air earth water air fire <laughs> so it teaches you how to balance like that we should chat about what I just read before I forget but in alchemy um, like I was saying they're talking about that we have balance within ourselves right so all the things that are in our zodiac are within us too. So um, so they're saying that we have mercury and sulfur inside of us, right? And the sulfur side is like our contentment and the mercury side is like our goals. And so it tells you to take a moment and close your eyes and think about like the mercury side of yourself and the sulfur side which is the contentment and like try to see which one it was easier to to um come up with a list for and also see where that's gonna help that's how you're gonna see where you're in balance <sighs> i just love reading it's so informative especially things like this that help you align yourself you know, it also said taking more baths. Um, like I know what keeps me content is working out. And then after I work out, I come and I take a silk, you know, dress every single day. So I always have some kind of Epsom salt or something. And uh, if I don't, I usually won't soak after and I'll just shower. But I just like to soak after. I don't know, like learning about your balance and the elements and how it plays a role. Even it talks about like air energy, earth energy, fire energy, water energy, and personality traits with those energies. Like it's really interesting, honestly. <sighs> it's crazy. But anyways, let me get back to it because yeah, as you can see I'm starting to like detox in here. But it's just so relaxing. Do this at least once a week. Light yourself some candles, play some music, and like find a book. Um, I get distracted by the music, so I'll start singing in the middle of reading. So I have to turn it off because you know me and music. But I definitely know what makes me content, and I also know what puts a fire under my ass as well. My only problem is like. 
I listen to vocals and stuff like that is I was just so used to somebody kind of dictating my life. Right now I feel like kind of weird when I go out and do the things that I need to do for myself. It just kind of feels kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I've always had this person over me kind of like, <clears throat> you can't do this, you can't do this, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? And then they act like they were trying to help you at some point and they weren't, you know? So, I like, being able to do things for myself i think it's a lot better and not having to feel like i'm under some kind of dictatorship you know you don't realize how much you allow somebody to control your life until you try to take back control of your life and then you're like hold up you're like this is weird I'm becoming balanced because i've been so imbalanced my whole life so when i get to a space of balance it feels really nice you know but that's even without any kind of assistance or aid or, you know. I know when I was elevated one time, I took some that was called balance, and it does, it like, evenly flows your feelings, and it just feels really nice. And then I just want chips, you know. But right now, balance for me is this, just laying in the bathtub reading. You know, usually I read in bed, but I think, I don't know, there's something about, like, candles. Love you guys. Keep it zen. On W balls. <laughs> the case of the big emotions has been solved. It is the new moon. It was making me all nostalgic and shit. So, let's say hi for this. Hurry up and pass on through so I can be done. Do you guys find it easier to remove yourself from a situation if you're not there. For instance, like what's going on on the East Coast and in the South with um, Hurricane Ida, or, um, <clears throat> or what was a hurricane or a storm? It, um, do you find it easy just to go on living your life on a day-to-day -day basis, like not thinking about the suffering of your fellow brothers and sisters or do you have a hard time with it? Because I have a hard time with it. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I should be, like, doing something. Because, I mean, I donate money, but I don't feel like that's enough. I feel like I should be doing something, like, physically, like, inviting people to stay with us or something. Like, I feel like I need to be doing something else. Like, I don't feel good about, like, having things where people are displaced do you get what i'm saying like i don't know <sighs> but do you guys feel like it's easier just to go on with your day-to-day -day life because you're so kind of like removed from the situation because like i don't know it's hard it's hard like i don't know how i i don't know how i've been functioning all these years but, like guilt gets to me so easily and it's not even like guilt but it's like i feel bad all the time for other people and like I should be doing something else like sending out portable AC units or something and or I don't know something more needs to be done than just me feeling bad is what I'm feeling <laughs> big emotions <laughs>